Hello, this is Daniel Kim from RS Knob. Today I would like to show you how to install the RS Knob standalone CarPlay Android Auto interface to the on Audi A7. So things that you need. For sure you need RS Knob standalone interface and a towel to protect your interior trims from scratching a uh, painting tape to protect the trims and eight millimeter torque screw uh, to remove some um, interior holding screws and a glove this is a must because behind this MMI unit the Inside the frame is very rough that it's pretty easy that you can cut yourself. So a glove. Let's start working on it. Oh, absolutely you need a trim removal tool like this for easier removal. First, you need to remove the driver side fuse cover so after removing the driver side fuse cover you need to remove this screw here which I already removed and there are two other uh, screws over here which I already removed it and the other one here so it's one two three and then you can pull down the driver's board kick panel. Not that there is a um, set of wire for the light control panel, so make sure you don't pull too much and disconnect the connector. And then <coughs> You're okay for now here. And then you need to remove the climate control. So to remove the climate control, the standard procedure is that you need the two L-shaped hook and place it under the climate control. If you um, go deeper, there's a um, latch that you can uh, hook the other shape hooks and then uh, you place one here and another one here and then pull uh, both of the hooks simultaneously but for now I'm just uh, start from right and then wrap and then you can easily remove this way as well but I have to tell you there's a risk of breaking one of these um, clips if you uh, did it wrong so let's unplug so let's remove this first and then uh, for the MMI device there's a screw over here over there as you can see which you can remove with the 8 millimeter torque screw and then you can pull it out the, MMI main device. So I removed the climate control, just one side. All you need to want to remove is this one. To release this one, you need to um, l l uh, pull out the red tab and then push this black um, uh, holding mechanism and then pull it out. And then, as I said, there's an uh, eight millimeter screw holding down the the. MMI device and using the 8 millimeter torque screw uh, you can remove it uh, well.
trigger has been removed and then you can pull the unit out like this but don't pull too much you need to remove the um, one plug here and the other plug down there it's the same uh, you press the tip and pull like this and then you also press the tip and gently pull straight out like this and then you are ready to remove the uh, MMI take it slowly uh, but it may be beneficial for you to um, just start the uh, car with ignition while not pressing on the brake pedal and then you just press the brake pedal move the shift turn the car off and then you can so there is a couple of um, wires that you need to remove to take out the the MMI unit let's pause so I have successfully removed my MMI unit this one is 3G MMI High Plus that's, it. that's GPS that's the video input from your um, surround view camera system or the rear view camera system and this one is the LVDS cable that our standalone device is tapping on the original screen um, display signals and this one is not used for my car and this is the quad lock plug and then this one is the optical fiber for uh, multimedia communication so you have factory quadra here and then and then um the fiber optic plug uh, the original LCD screen lvds connection um, cable and rear camera input and the gps antenna so um this is how it looks like uh, after you're removing the um MMI control unit so um, right now you need to take this quadrac to over here yeah I know it seems like there's no way to bring this large quadrac out here but it's possible If you see inside, um, there's a large hole on the left side, but behind the, uh, that hole here, as you can see, my finger is moving. There's a, enough room to pass this uh, quadrac out. So you carefully put your hands in and arrange the wire properly and then push it back and push it to the right and then you will be able to access it from here where I'm reaching my hands so I'll show you how to so as you can see I pulled out the original quad rock from this compartment to the driver's knee panel board area you can take it out and then we'll place our standalone interface unit in the driver's knee board area like that and then you pass all the other wires like the LVDS cable and the climate control bypass and the our um, on um, replacement quadra to the here let me show you 
after I have done the work. So as RS knob interface is sitting over there, I was able to bring out the new quad rock plug from RS knob to here and those screen LVDS cables and the climate control bypass. So now it's plug and play time. So connect this original climate control plug to the bypass female here and then for the LVDS if you look inside carefully there's a the gray one gray wire that read to the original Audi display over here and connect this male one with female okay let me do the work so the climate control bypass is connected then the uh, original LCD screen LVDS cable is connected so all you need to is arrange the wires and then plug this MMI 3G MMI unit back into its place so I put back all the um, cables behind the MMI unit and I placed back the MMI unit itself and screwed down the unit with the screws in its place and then RS knob um, unit is here make sure that the USB doesn't go in to the MMI area you want you may want to read out the, the this USB port somewhere around here or you can buy a plush mount USB um, kit from Amazon and replace the cigarette um, plug over here with the USB plush plush mount uh, plugs and connect this USB line to over there through an extension so now I will uh, wrap it up I will just need to um, connect the climate bypass here and then back put back the climate control as its position and make sure the the red dip switches over here is um, place is what it was shown in this sticker so this car is a6 a7 c7 so it's all off position and i have placed it all the dip switches to the off position so uh, everything was um placed back into where it was but still i leave the um the driver side kick panel open and make sure i can reach to the rs knob um standalone interface easily and let's just before you wrap pivot everything make sure you have test everything so i put this gear to the parking position start the car and open up the screen and then I press the nav button for three and voila you have the uh, RS knob coupling interface so all you have to do is um, connect your cell phone with the USB plug over here and then choose the function that you want to go uh, for uh, this 4525, five, uh, it has probably made the Android Auto uh, version 4, which is rolled out 2019. So uh, if you are running uh, version 525, five, you must update the firmware from the rsnav.com uh, and it will fix the lottery control issue with the Android Auto. In the Android Auto version 4, Google changed uh, multiple things, including the lottery control support logic. So in accordance with Google's change, we have updated our software. So you must update to use Android Auto properly. So I have finished the installation. The RS knob main device is placed over this side. The big quad rock bypass is inserted into back of this area. So it will be 
perfectly um, going back to the what it was and then I rerouted the USB port here and then I can use um, zip tie later actually uh, I didn't screw uh, up the kneeboard panel completely so once uh, I screw up all the missing screws that will be factory fit so now I have copied the um, firmware update file to the USB thumb drive and I plug the USB thumb into the port and let's power up the car press knob button for a second and automatically it's updating so basically in Chinese it's saying please wait we're doing update it will take a few minutes and then it will reboot by itself and then uh -huh. after that you can enjoy uh, Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, iOS wired screen mirroring, Android screen mirroring. Thank you for watching.